and it's saying, okay, we're going to do 10 invites today. 10 invites is not enough to grow your business. I'm just going to say it, okay? It's not enough. And I hate that TeamZ allows you to set a minimum. And so coaches are doing the minimum, okay? Uh... You should be adding people until your fingers bleed or until Facebook stops you. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing another anti-MLM video. Now, before we begin, I just want to say I have been spending a lot of time on Twitch recently. That's probably why you're probably like, why is she not uploading a lot over here? Um, I've been spending like pretty much all of my time over on Twitch for the past few weeks. I'm just really enjoying it and um, it's something for fun for me to do that's just is like different topics and playing games and stuff like that. So if you do want to go follow me over on Twitch, I'm live pretty much every single day except for Tuesdays, which is the day I'm filming this. But um, yeah, if you guys want to follow me over there, I'm live like pretty much every day, 2 p.m., uh, including the weekends too. So yeah, I've just been really enjoying it. So I'd appreciate it if you guys go follow me over there. But anyway, I am so excited for today's video because not only am I getting back into the swing of things here, but... This is a topic I've been wanting to talk about for a really long time on this channel related to MLMs, but I just haven't gotten around to doing it yet. And that topic is how these people find you on social media. And in this video, it'll pretty much be focusing on Facebook because a lot of these MLM people are stuck in the stone ages. So they still operate on Facebook, a lot of them, and find a lot of their recruits on Facebook, if you know what I mean. So, and they still do that to this day, by the way. You know, a lot of you guys might be asking, is anybody still on Facebook? Yes, this is a topic I've been wanting to delve deeper into for a really long time. So I'm excited to kind of show you today what really goes on in the back end of what these people are doing, how they're finding you. And, you know, unfortunately, what you're probably gonna realize during this video, if you haven't realized it already, is that you're really not that special to these people. They kind of treat people like they're disposable. Not kind of, they do. What's interesting about these videos, in my opinion, is that they're really sort of sinister in a way when you see them at work. Like when you see what really happens and from their end, like there's these, in this video, you're going to show, they're going to show their screen, how they go into the groups. So a lot of them will find you in like these specific Facebook groups if you have like a certain ailment or if you have mental health or, you know, if you're somebody who's just generally seeking asylum somewhere online and looking for a group of people with similar circumstances to yourself, they will prey on that. So it's very, very kind of like predatory. I mean, it is predatory. There's no other way to say it. So anyway, let's just hop in. This is going to be a really good video. So don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're not already. Quick couple notes before we start this video. Uh, I want to apologize for this video quality. This is the best that we could do. Um, but there's a lot of good stuff in here and the person that's running this needs no introduction. This is the person who I've attended some other power hours of hers that were absolutely abysmal. So anyway, let's just jump into it. I'm just a couple seconds to hop on here. I literally just got done working out. This is a sweaty mess underneath here. I almost put a bun in and then I was like, I've worn my hair like that for the last two days. So I thought I would look adorable for you guys and do a braid today. I feel like this is Beach Buddy Coach Life. I'm like deodorant, hat, done. Like we're good to go. All right, we will dig in. I am recording it just in case. I'll post it to um, the group. We are going to do a live power hour. Just to remind everybody also, a power hour is when basically <laughs> these people's upline, like so whoever the upline coaches of the team, they pretty much force everybody in their downline to get on a Zoom call. And they do this across all MLMs, by the way, not just like Beachbody, but they'll force everybody to work. It's a clever way to get everybody to work and like do what they want them to do and do like concentrated recruiting. It's very common that they that they do these sort of things. So anyway, so that she's leading it and what she's hoping to get out of this is that, you know, these people will take time, sit down, and invite, 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 invite for like the basically the next hour. What I did as a new coach differs a little bit than you know what I do now, um, but it's all honestly pretty much the same, just a little bit different technique maybe. So we'll cover my daily to dos, conversations, my follow up system, my business hours, time management. I do have an assistant. I did not have an assistant until May of last year, so every you know, year, every month I worked, it was just me, solely me, up until May of last year. 
um, I actually just let go and rehired a new assistant. So it's kind of all over the place. So I'm still doing a lot. And you're going to see as I dig into my Asana and my Gmail that I am very behind um, because of that, because I'm kind of in the middle of getting help. There are a few different things that I teach my team to do every single day in their power hour. Adding friends, uh, make connections, which I'll explain that in a second, interacting with friends, sending invites, and then sending follow-ups. Okay. Those are the, the five things that I really think should make up a power hour. Everything else you guys could think of to do like the graphics and all that stuff that needs to be done when you have time, like graphics are not important. Inviting people, adding new friends, making connections, sending follow-ups, those are the important things. And I think those are the eat your frog, or you know, eat that, is it eat your frog, or eat that frog thing, you know, if you will. Uh, once again, I apologize for the quality, but I, trust me, it's worth it, okay? Just trust me in this one, it's worth it. The new coach, I added the majority of my friends through my friends list, right? I would go to my friends list and see, there used to be like a people you may know little tab. I don't even know. I don't work a lot for my desktop anymore. Um, but there used to be like a people you may know thing over here. So I would add there and go and click and click and click. I do not and did not add coaches as much in the beginning. And I do not and will not add people now who have friends that are coaches, okay? That's a waste of my time. And I'm not going to sit there and like fight for people's attention and be like, pick me, pick me. You know what I mean? Like they're going to be attracted to me or they're not. And so I'm not going to go in and say I'm adding Caitlin as a friend. I'm not going to go in with, you know, we probably have hundreds of mutual friends in common. Like if there, if I highlight over their little friend tab and I see that there are any coaches that I recognize, I will not add them as a friend. But that's usually what I did in the beginning. I would also go down and I would find someone that I went to high school with or we used to work with or something like that. And then I would go to their friends. And then now this friend that I'm clicking on here has nothing to do with Beachbody. I would make sure I would go to people from high school, people from wherever that I knew were not associated with Beachbody in any way, okay? Then I would go to their friends list and then I would start adding people that I did not have mutual friends with other than this person um, that did not have coach friends and I would just go through and add them. You guys, this is going to be impossible for me because the majority of people on my Facebook are my actual coaches. So. <laughs> but that's it. So I would just go and, and I would add people and, and if they accepted my friend request, I would say, hey, thanks for the ad. Um, I saw, you know, we're, we have a mutual friend in Kate, wanted to add you, whatever. But I would never message people and be like, hi, I just signed up as a Beachbody coach. Like I did, you know, in that contact list in my first day message those people that kind of cold invite. But going forward, it's kind of salesy. I don't know if you guys get <laughs> those messages from other MLM companies saying, hi, I'm this and I sell this and here's my link and let's sign up. But I'm not gonna send that to people. Instead, I'm gonna have an actual conversation with people. A couple things that I wanna point out. You know, we all know this is happening because we've all gotten that same message before of, hey, girly, you know, I, I just love your page, you know, whatever. We've all gotten like the cold call at this point. If you're on social media, you probably have gotten the cold message from someone you don't know about an MLM. I've gotten a million of them. I still get them to this day, which is kind of unbelievable. But it also proves my point, actually. In fact, we always suspected it, you know, we always kind of suspected that they just go and they add anybody and everybody that they can but it just to see there's something about seeing it in action that just kind of creeps me out to my inner core and it's just like man they really do not give a fuck who you are where you are what you like you know whatever they're just adding 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 and what i think is interesting too which is just a point that i wanted to bring up is a lot of them are already aware of how salesy or creepy it kind of is to message somebody right away after they've added you it's just interesting that they're self-aware enough to say hey um that's actually salesy so i'm not going to message them right away i'm actually going to intentionally delay it or, or create this kind of contrived connection with this person it's like they're waiting you know it's like they're they're waiting and they're waiting and they're waiting until it's the right time to strike and it's just creepy that they have like these you know um this like hidden agenda and i don't know there's something that just makes me very feel very very like uneasy and unsafe about it i don't know why but it does the last way i actually add people as friends is i go to different groups okay i will go and this is how i usually add people now i don't really do the friends of friends and all that anymore because it's just flooded with coaches nowadays um but you want to find your and you guys, if this is too elementary for you, use this to teach your team, okay? 
Um, but I go to these different groups that I have, you know, an interest in. So I'm in a few hiking groups. I'm in some, what are the other groups I'm in? This is a sauna, but don't look yet because I'm going to teach you guys in a second. Um, I'm in, I actually track what interest groups I'm in. That way when I do have an assistant or you have an assistant or you just have free time, you know, you can send people to these groups and they can go and add people from there. So I'm in some vegan groups, hiking groups. So when I go to these groups, make sure you click the groups tab because people are like, it's not showing any groups for me. Make sure you do it right. But you can type in knitting. You can type in Great Dane. You can type in anything that you genuinely have an interest in. I'm like, why am I not able to go in these groups? <laughs> she can't get in. <laughs> Good Lord have mercy. Good Lord. Okay, I'll just go to my, okay, so I'm in a bunch of ulcerative colitis and Crohn's groups. Um, okay, so at this point, this is the reason why I say this, this is worth it to show you guys this video. I understand like the quality you guys is driving me nuts of this video, like I'm telling you, it's driving me nuts and I can't see anything either. But the thing is, is this is something that I think everybody needs to see. And this is happening on a daily basis at this point, okay? This is happening on a daily basis. I have gotten message after message, thousands of messages probably at this point of this, of this exact thing happening to them. So, these people, she just what she just entered into is it. It almost seems unreal, but she just clicked on an ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease group on Facebook, and this is where she claims she finds most of her people these days to join Beachbody, to join a predatory business model where people are almost certain to lose money. She finds them in an ulcerative colitis and Crohn's group. Yeah. So if this isn't predatory, I don't know what else is, to be honest, at this point. Like, it's absolutely disgusting to me that there are people who prey on the vulnerable, the sick, and the weak, and people who are just genuinely seeking a place where they can share their thoughts and feelings or find people with similar problems and ailments. And because they were seeking this type of you know, shared experience and catharsis, they were preyed on by an MLM hunt and, and may go on to lose money from it. Explicit warning, like sometimes they post about poop. So if you see that, don't be offended. But there's like 11,000 people in this group, okay? So I will go into this group, click on their members tab, scroll down a little bit because there might be a few coaches in some of the groups because um, I've talked about them enough. But so I will go through and you want to add people in your target audience, people who look, think and act like you. OK, those three things. You want people who look like you, think like you and act like you, like you. OK, I have to make another comment. So here's the other thing, too. You know, at some point, there has to be a line here. There has to be. Yes, there is an element of finding people who think, talk, walk, act like you and wanting to share an opportunity with them and work with them, whatever. But at some point you have to say, okay, look, people who are struggling from lifelong illnesses have got to be off limits. In my mind, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I mean, maybe, maybe I'm in the minority here. But I, it, in my mind, it feels like people who are coming onto Facebook for one reason, which is to get answers or share like, you know, symptoms or something like that like it, it has to be off limits and to not be able to see that this should be off limits and, and just seeing them as dollar signs i mean it, it, it to me it, it can't be any lower than this so as i'm scrolling through and adding friends i'm going to be kind of stingy i'm going to be kind of weird and i'm going to you know if it offends anybody i apologize but one i'm not adding men two i'm not adding older people three i'm adding people who look like they are in my target audience okay so I'm going to scroll down a little bit and I'm going to go to Crystal. Crystal here, add as a friend, friend request them. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to add, who, you know, I don't know, not Virginia. If they have a weird profile picture, if they have scenery as their profile picture, if they have a dog as their profile picture, if they have a car as their profile picture, I'm not going to add them. Let's add Christine. Nope, she doesn't have it turned on. So I literally go through and I just add people. And in the beginning, I would go and I would add people until I literally got warned by Facebook to slow down, okay? Okay, I just want to make a comment about this because you're going to see this in other clips that I show you. But 
they, you know, so this is just like a, a tiny little thing that I just want to bring up, but I think it's important is that these people, they know that they're misusing the platform and Facebook also considers this to be a misuse of the platform. They are intentionally doing something that they know is wrong. This is not what social media sites are meant for. You're not supposed to be adding people you don't know and preying upon them. My sentiment is not only is this something that I believe personally, but Facebook, the terms of service also back this claim up that I am saying, okay? Just just saying. So now I'll go in and I usually, like I instruct my assistant to go in and add 10 people every single day from each group unless she gets stopped by Facebook, okay? So I want you guys right now, I, I told my coaches to go in and on our last power hour last time, let me keep the chat open here. Um, how many groups do I track on average? Probably, I probably have like five that I'm pretty active in. Um, but I want you guys to take the next two minutes, so we'll go until 11.19. I want you guys to find a group, just one for now, or if you're already in groups, um, go in and I want you guys to add as many people as you can for the next two minutes, okay? I want everybody to do it. And then when you're done, when I say, eh, like maybe we can do like musical chairs. I'll play music until I want you guys to stop. How about that? Um, and then when you guys are done, I want you to comment in the chat and tell me how many people you actually added. You guys want gangster rap? How about that? Let's hope this doesn't get shut down by YouTube. So go. Yeah, if you're adding too many people, it'll Facebook will say, do you really know this person? <laughs> Facebook starts to detect once you've added too many people and a lot of these MLM huns will get banned actually by Facebook or they're like they'll be temporarily suspended for the day if they're doing this too often and it happens like literally every day to them. And you're like, e no, I don't. But you say yes and then move on. Literally sh just shameless. This person's just shameless. I want you guys to comment in there and tell me how many people you got added in two minutes, okay? Two people. Seven people. Ten, three, six, five, 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 eight, five, ten. You guys, that was two minutes. Now imagine you guys taking five minutes of your power hour and just straight adding people. Headphones in, music on, you're just looking for people to add to your network. If you guys are adding this many people every single day, imagine like you won't ever run out of people to talk to. No, I don't care if we have mutual friends. Most honestly, I don't anymore. I don't really want to have mutual friends. What happens is You've accepted this person, right, from my all sort of politis group. And then when I go in and I'm posting every single day, like I should be posting every single day, right, they're going to follow me and they're going to be watching. And then when I post a picture, I post a post about having all sort of politis or being on a fitness journey and having this disease and still going or whatever it might be. Maybe it's your puppy. You post a picture of your puppy or you're posting a picture of your t-shirt or whatever. They're going to see that and they're going to genuinely have interest in that. Okay, chances are they're gonna like it. And then what happens, these people are liking your pictures and we're gonna go into making connections, okay? So we're gonna go out of that. And so you're adding friends for five minutes every single day, okay? Just a general time suggestion. If you guys are working two hours or three hours or whatever you're doing, you're gonna multiply that, right? Unless you're getting shut down by Facebook or slowed down by Facebook. Um, the next thing I wanna talk about is making connections, okay? And this is something that I have my coaches do every single day, no matter what. They're going to go to their profile, and you're going to go down to, so I'm posting a little bit different, mind you, okay? So on Facebook, we're going to go to your most recent fitness post or your most recent nutrition post. Usually, I tend to stick around and do this with fitness and nutrition posts, or maybe posts where I've shared my story, or, you know, something like that where people are actually just showing support in a way, okay? So you are going to go to every single picture, every single day that you post that's in that category, and you're going to go to the people that like it, okay? You see these likes here? I don't care if you guys have five likes. I don't care if you have 10 likes. I don't care if you have 100 likes. You know, obviously, like, they wait for people to to like their own photos on their own Facebook page. So this is like for people that have already added them as friends. But really what kind of disturbs me in every way possible that I can even imagine is someone going in who's working in an MLM and posting in like, let's just use this as an example because this is what she used, posting in the ulcerative colitis or Crohn's page and about, you know, I'm on a health and fitness journey, but I'm also doing it with Crohn's and blah, 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 right? And I'm pushing through. So the idea of someone liking that photo in solidarity or to support that person or whatever and getting preyed upon because they did something nice, which is trying to support you by liking your photo, is like, I, I, there's no words for it. 
like there's there's genuinely no words for how disgusting that is and then to expound upon that statement let me say this to have to worry about that when you are just gen you are using the platform in the right way let's say i'm somebody who's in the ulcerative colitis group and i have ulcerative colitis i'm not selling for an mlm and i am in that group you know just using the group as i should using facebook as i should within the terms of service right okay so i go and i like somebody's post like that now do you see how wrong it is that i now feel like i have to be worried and cautious about whose post i like so i don't get preyed upon thinking oh maybe this is going to be a, be a beach body coach or maybe this is going to be somebody from plexus or prove it or whatever that now i have to be worried that they're going to like send me a message and unwanted solicitation on fa on social media no, in my opinion, and this is my personal opinion, but I think many people would agree with me, I think what the best thing to do is to get these pe types of people who are misusing platforms and who are misleading people and preying upon vulnerable people off of these platforms, okay? It is disturbing that everybody else who is doing all the right things would have to be cautious and would have to change the way that they use the platform because other people are ruining it for them. Do you, know, do you see what I'm saying here? Hopefully you do. So I would go in, again, I'm not gonna do it because these are all freaking coaches, I guarantee it, okay? I'm gonna go in to every single person that messaged or that, that liked my picture, and this is what I'm gonna say to them, and I'll actually type it in the chat so you guys can see it. You're gonna go to every single person on here that's liked your picture, every single person, unless they're a coach, unless they are your mom, you're gonna message them, okay? And you're gonna say, hey girl. <laughs> So now she's going to be, um, she's teaching us how to message those people that she has poached from all these different, like, various groups. I said, hey, girl, too intensely, and I got choked. Hey, girl, I'm typing it as I talk so I can let you guys see it. Thank you so much for liking my insert whatever, workout picture, meal picture, or photo of my food, whatever, whatever, any kind of picture, okay? today. Your support means the world. You guys can change this if you wouldn't typically say that in real life and change it to sound something a little more like you. Um, and then I would ask a question. I always end with a question in every conversation. So note that. Always end with a, con or with a question. Are you on a health and fitness journey of your own? That's what I say. If you're copying this from the chat, make sure you don't add that quote in there by the way. So I'm going to every single person that has liked my photo or commented, if they hadn't liked it and commented, whatever, other than a coach, other than my mom, and I'm messaging them, okay, with this script. And you know what? They're going to come back and they're going to say, no, I'm really not, but I've been watching you, okay? Or, yeah, I am, and I love your inspiring post. If they say, yeah, I am, I am messaging, messaging them back and I'm saying something like, oh, my God, girl, you should really think, or I would say, hold on. Oh my God, girl. <laughs> I say girl a lot. I say love a lot. And I don't say love in person, but I say it in messages of spirit. Good. Oh my God, girl. That's so awesome. You should seriously think about coaching. I know you're inspiring so many people already. Okay, so what we just saw there is the origin story of why we call all of these MLM people Huns. Because she's not saying Hun in this one, but she's saying, hey girl. So it's just like, it's funny and it just, it plays upon, you know, if you if you were curious where that came from or why you call, well, why I always call them or refer to them as MLM Huns. It's because they always start it with hey hun or hey girl. So a lot of them will do like hey girl um, and then copy and paste message. But the reason why I'm even talking about it in this video, whereas I haven't really brought up why we call them hey hun before, is because in this video especially, you're seeing just how little these people know about you. They are just like adding, 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 adding as many people they can before Facebook decides to ban them. They're not looking at your profile. They're not going clicking on your profile. They're literally going through groups or other people's mutual friends and just clicking add. So that's the main point of this entire video is 
you know, a lot of times people will say, oh my God, you're so inspiring. You can, you, I know you're going to rock this. I know you're going to be the best, you know, salesperson that's ever been lived or whatever the f they want to say, whatever. Okay. Main point is that this is video evidence that they do not care about you at all. And I'm saying that like not in a mean way, not, not trying to be like, oh my God, you're so insignificant. These consultants and these types of companies treat people like they're disposable. It has nothing to do with you. So if you've ever gotten a message from somebody who you, maybe you think they're cool or maybe you think that they're trying to reach out just to you. I see a lot of people too that bring religion into it and they go, well, this, is a this was a divine uh, opportunity for me. It was not divine. There's nothing divine about this. In fact, this is the most contrived bullshit that I've ever seen. These are fake connections. These are fake friends. This is a fake person. And these are fake businesses, in fact. That is what I say to every single person. Every single person. You don't have to overthink it. You don't have to explain what coaching is. You don't have to explain what an accountability group is because they're going to ask that question. And you can do it in a second, okay? But you guys connections making these connections are where i get most of my people from okay can i just say one more thing it just is interesting to me you know just this is just once again to kind of expand upon my what i was talking about earlier about like you mean nothing to them like they don't even know who you are it's just interesting that like every single day they sit down and they at try to add as many people as they can so at, as soon as you're getting funneled into this business, they are already moving on trying to find more people. It's a constant influx of new recruits. So you have to think about, and I've, I've mentioned this before about Beachbody, but it's about all of these MLMs, is there's a natural capacity to these types of businesses. They can only help and give indiv individualized accountability groups to so many people before they have no time left to help you or do anything like this should just this just goes to show that they are not going to have the time that it takes especially somebody who's higher up in the business to dedicate to you so they pretend like they're going to be your coach or whatever but they're not actually ever going to have time to coach you because they're too busy adding more people it's just it's just kind of like one thing i wanted to point out all right you're not pushing people you're simply asking a question and when they answer it you are gonna you're gonna respond with one of those two things. And honestly, when people say something like, "Yeah, I do CrossFit," or "Yeah, I do this," or "Yeah, I do that," like in my messages, in my back and forth, I ignore it. I don't even acknowledge it. Okay. Because especially if they're reaching out to you or you're talking to them about a challenge group or something like that, clearly it's not working for them if they're asking for help. So I used to direct message people on Instagram, but I actually got blocked a few times from direct messaging people too much. So <laughs> I do the very best I can that, that, you know, to have back and forth with them in my thing and my, my post, um, or if they comment on my post and I'll swipe and tag them and say, Hey, thanks for your support or emoji usually is all I say back. Um, but if they have a question, I have them DM me. Um, you won't get blocked if they're sending you a message first, but if you're sending cold messages on Instagram to people, you will eventually get blocked. Kind of like you would on Facebook if you're doing it enough. Okay, I just want to say once again, if you're messaging so much on Facebook that you're getting blocked or Instagram that you're getting blocked, you are misusing the platform. And Instagram and Facebook are telling you that. And once again, I've said it once, I'll say it twice, I've said it 300 times at this point, but we need to get these people off of these platforms that they are intentionally misusing. You know, TikTok has already taken steps to doing this so of people who are not using it for the right reasons and who are trying to solicit other people. What's stopping Facebook and what's stopping Instagram from doing the same thing? Um, so I tend to avoid that and I tend to just bring them to Gmail as fast as I can. You guys are gonna send as many connections as you can for the next three minutes. We're gonna go till 11.35 my time. This is so fake, you guys. This is so fucked up. Make sure you're doing your connections, two minutes. Doesn't matter if they have a job that surrounds himself with fitness, doesn't matter if they're already doing a health and fitness, anything, message them the same thing. It does not matter. Ignore it. Message them. Don't be a bitch and hit them like Jill said. Jill said it. It's not me. I didn't say it. Someone else said it. Doesn't matter. It's not going to take that long to copy and paste. Now, you might get a warning from Facebook to slow down. If you do, I would stop there and track who you actually sent a message to and then do the rest the next day. <laughs> Good, 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 good. Four, 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 ten, eight, three, 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 one, three, three, six, five. You guys, that was three, how many minutes? Five minutes? Did we spend on that? Four minutes? Look how many new conversations you guys just started 
in four effing minutes. Now you have no excuse. Your team has no excuse when they say, I don't have any more people to talk to. That's a freaking lie, okay? You see how easy that was to have that many new conversations started? Next thing I wanna talk about is interacting with those new friends that we just had, okay? So this is where I'm gonna hop over to Asana really fast, and I'm gonna show you how I track that and how I don't ignore and forget about those new coaches, okay? What I do, and I'm very behind right now, <laughs> please bear with me, is so every single time I send, so you'll probably see in my messenger there are some messages I haven't responded to yet. So I'm constantly getting friend requests in from people that I don't know. Some of them, yes, they might be coaches. Some of them might not be coaches. So what I do is I have, I do not, here he is, there's a man. I delete men friend requests. <laughs> But I'd go into, obviously this is a fit. Nice. If any of these are you, I apologize, but I'm deleting your friend requests, okay, if you look like a coach. So what I do is I click, I have these friend requests here, and I go to my friend requests, I'll click on this person. I will, you know, scroll down a little bit. I usually just stop right here, and I look and see, and I'm like, does this person look like they're a coach at all? If so, I delete the friend request. If not, I confirm the request, okay? And when I confirm the request, I immediately send them a friend request or a message. And I said, hey, thanks for the ad. Are you a coach too? This might seem like a very blunt question, like a very in your face, like why are you messaging that question? But you will see that it gets me straight into the point like I want to be, okay? So I sent this to somebody. This is a job my assistant actually does now. So she goes in and she'll filter through my friend requests and she'll accept them and she sends, hey, are you a coach too? And this gets the result of, it, it gets to the point quickly. This is just another level to how contrived this whole experience is and this whole process is. So she not only has hired now an assistant who is doing these messages, but it's not, they these people think they're responding to the girl who's in the top uh, right corner. But they're actually talking to her assistant. So it's not even her who's sending these out. And there's another layer of this that I don't know if you guys have thought about. Maybe you have. She doesn't even want, like this is so obvious, she doesn't even want to be doing this. Like if this was some dream job, then she would have no problem doing this. Okay. But she's, this, is a, this is one of the things that she has now tasked her assistant with. So... It just makes you think about, like, if she doesn't even want to be doing this, then do any of these people want to be doing this? Probably not. Who the hell wants to sit on Facebook all day listening to Rack City and teach me how to Dougie and, like, you know, adding people they don't know from ulcerative colitis and Crohn's groups and, and sending these, like, stupid copy and paste messages? This is just so mind-numbingly boring and stupid but whatever just had to bring it up it's called power of three scripting i have this notes on my phone i keep this up all the time i don't know why it did this so just ignore that but i have this power of three scripting and i'll share it in the group okay let me make a note so i don't forget i'll share this whole scripting that i have okay and i go down to the friend request section on here so when they say they are a coach and i can't identify them as a coach but i know they're a coach now because they've told me i send this script right here and I'll, I'll upload this, or you guys can screenshot it or whatever you want to do. But I say, okay, awesome. Hope you don't mind me asking, but I'm hoping you can just follow me instead. I'm trying to keep my friend request spots open for potential clients and coaches and those on my team so I, connect with, so I can connect with them better. Is that okay? I send that. I copy, paste, send that, and then I immediately delete them as a friend. Some of you in this group may have gotten this message, okay? Because I know a lot of people are like, oh, let's add all the leaders. So I don't have enough room to keep all these coaches as friends. So this is what I send to them, okay? Now, if they say they're not a coach, okay, I send <laughs> this. Okay, great. Well, thanks for, thank you again for the ad. Can I ask where you found me? You guys, every single conversation I have, I am asking questions or I am manipulating the conversation to get to the point where I can ask that question. Interesting choice of words, manipulating. So once they respond, I've got them, right? I'm having that conversation with them. I'm going to move on to building that firm or that, that relationship with them. I put them in my Asana, okay? I put their Facebook URL in here and I put her name in here. I forgot what her name was. Daphna Weinbrand. Doesn't even remember her name and she was just messaging her literally less than 30 seconds ago. Doesn't remember her name. Doesn't remember her name 30 seconds ago. I hope this isn't a chick that's on the wine thing. 
<laughs> okay, so that's her name. I'm not putting in a date. I'm not putting in who she's assigned to. I'm leaving it just like that. So what happens is every single week, this is on a weekly to-do for my, my assistant, or if you have time, you should be doing this. Um, I'll go in and I'll say, okay, you need to go into this chick who she just added me from Instagram. I'll note, you need to note that I'm here needs to lose 30 pounds, like whatever they give me, whatever information they give me, I put in here, okay? So this chick added me from Instagram, so I'm gonna go in, I have my assistant go in every single week and go to every single new friend on here, okay? Every single week. So we're gonna go to this new friend every single week, okay? And we're gonna go interact with her. We're gonna go to her page and I'm gonna like and comment on anything that I genuinely have interest in. If there's nothing, then I'll just throw a couple likes out there, okay? So I'm not gonna obviously like the house, not gonna like that. If they literally have nothing, then just move on, okay? Um, but here, I guarantee I added this chick from a hiking group. Okay, can I just tell you guys what this technique is called, which is across all MLMs, you'll see a lot of people instruct their downline to do this, and this is called love bombing. Love bombing is basically when you like send a ton of likes and like, like a bunch of their photos, comment a bunch, like overwhelm people with like, oh my God, like this is somebody who's really overly friendly or whatever. And it's basically like an attempt to manipulate whoever that is and gain their trust super quick and make them like like you right away. What's really interesting though about, I guess the etymology of this word and how this the origin of this phrase is that it actually came from, if you look it up on like Wikipedia and stuff, it came from various different cults, okay? And it was popularized by, I'll just read it really quick, Margaret Singer, who was a psychology professor. And it really became popular when she published her 1996 book, Cults in Our Mist. So it's, it's really like a technique that is, has been propagated by cults. And I just find that to be very interesting. Look, I'm not saying anything, but she's, you know, the, the, the lady in this video also was someone who was using the word manipulate. You know, I'm just going to take her word for it and say, look, they are manipulating you. And a lot of time you will see this. Like sometimes I'll go on my, uh, my Instagram and I'll see that somebody has love bombed, um, my page for, it's a form of manipulation where they try to like, 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 and then they'll message you and try to stay like in direct contact with you. It's really, really strange. And I just think that it's kind of, you know, interesting because look, okay. So I'm going to like it, and I'm going to say, beautiful. Love bombing. Okay? I'm literally just, it's as simple as that. I'm just interacting with her. Okay? And I'm going to like that picture because she's traveling. Okay? And that's it. And then I'm going to go back to my Asana because I interacted with her, and I'm going to say two likes and one comment. <laughs> and it's going to timestamp that. Okay? So I know that on today's date, I interacted with her. You guys, how insane is this? To think about that there's people out there that, that might have your name in their, you know, documents, like their Asana or whatever, they're tracking, oh, they added you from this group, they messaged you on this day, and you need to lose 30 pounds or something like that. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, think about how just, just creepy this is. This is insane. Okay, and then next week we're going to go in, and I'm going to see that I interacted with her last week, and I'm going to go in and interact with her again. I'm going to timestamp it, Okay. It's literally as simple as that. Okay, new friend from Instagram. Saw my transformation. This chick, since I actually just talked about a group with her, or I just threw out the idea of a group with her, I'm gonna move her, actually. And she's gonna go to my, here. I'll explain all this in a second, I swear. And I'm gonna note it that I mentioned a group, okay? So now she technically is in my customers tab, my potential customers, because I just mentioned a group. And what can happen if nothing comes from this conversation that I'm having with Daphna, I will go in and invite her to a, um, we, have, we run challenge group webinars, okay? So I'll go in and invite her to a challenge group webinar eventually if nothing comes from this conversation. I have you looked at Teamsy. I have a couple coaches that use Teamsy, but I'm just going to say it because I'm just going to because I'm that person. I hate Teamsy for the fact that it's making you set a goal of this and it's saying, okay, we're gonna do 10 invites today. 10 invites is not enough to fucking grow your business. I'm just gonna say it, 
okay? It's not enough. And I hate that Team Z allows you to set a minimum. And so coaches are doing the minimum, uh, okay? You should be adding people until your fingers bleed or until Facebook stops you, okay? Not until Team Z says 100%, <laughs> okay? I'm just going to say it. Until your fingers bleed or Facebook stops you. This is at the direction of their upline. Just said it out loud, okay? Here's my closing statements for this video. I think that you guys kind of understand and you see um, what's exactly going on here. And um, I think that it's a good learning tool and it's a good topic that I've been wanting to bring up for a while is the media and the mean and the mode in which these people contact you and find you on these social media platforms um, is very shocking and eye-opening to many people, I'm sure. And uh, I just want you to be aware, and I think that it adds another level of like kind of like that that unethicalness. It, I think that it also kind of pierces the veil, in a sense, uh, for people who maybe thought that they were hand chosen or hand picked by these beach body coaches or this MLM hunt or whatever. I mean, you're really just no more special than the other person. Of course, like, I can believe you're special. I can, other people can believe you're special. Your friends and your family believe you're special. But these people really don't know anything about you. To them, you're just dollar signs. And even if you have, like, like we saw, like the ailments or the, the different diseases and stuff, like, those are things that people will see about you. And they'll, like, it's, unfortunately, in some people's brains and these MLM consultants' brains, they see that as like, yes, this is dollar signs. Like I can, I can connect with them on this level. I can, I have like this, now I have this person who's already in this group who I can just like quickly have access to. It's really frustrating and disturbing. And uh, my final thing that I wanted to say about this is, because I've said a lot already and I know this is a very long video, but the final thing that I wanted to say is, especially in today's day and age with coronavirus and the pandemic and just like everybody being at home and the world being the way that it is and mental health being in the place that it is, the state that it is, um, it's really, really disappointing and it's something that you need to be aware of, uh, extra cautious of, especially if you're somebody who is maybe susceptible to be feeling lonely or seeking uh, connections online. Be really, really careful and make sure that the person's intentions are really good. Anyway, for me, it just adds another level like an extra level of distaste considering the mental states of people and the people that are using social media right now really as like their asylum from the outside world and they're looking to connect with people and they're looking to uh, talk to people about their problems and, and just make genuine connections. That's the only way a lot of people can even make human connection anymore is through social media. I know that it's not like human, but, and to be preyed upon for, for wanting that and, and needing that it is just, it's just gross. So anyway, I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you find it helpful. Don't forget, if you want to share this with your friends, if you want to share this with other people, um, if you think that it would be helpful to others or somebody, I'm not sure, uh, go ahead and share it with other people. Please leave a like if you would like this video. And don't forget to subscribe for more anti-MLM content. Also, like I said in the beginning of the video, I am now on Twitch. So I'm live almost every single day on Twitch and starting at like 2 p.m. And you guys can catch me over there. Make sure to follow it. I'll have a link down below. And I will see you guys in my next video.